Hey, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to unbox and discuss the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Dennis Nedry, Nedry Getaway Pack. I can never say his name correctly. So, this is from Mattel. Nedry. Dennis Nedry? Nedry. Nedry. This is an open box. Um, Dennis himself is in plastic. He is in a blister pack. Now, those of us collectors, right, brand new, 2021 just released, uh, we could only get him in a Barbasol uh, shaving cream can in, a, what was it, like a Sa San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, something like that, a little while ago. And then eventually they announced they were going to make the pack. And then when they showed us the images, the Jeep had two stripes on it. And you see that there's only one stripe. So us true collectors are very upset that we don't have our second stripe. And I, I'm curious, like, obviously it was a cost thing. Like, they're trying to save money. But, like, how much money is actually saved by not printing a stripe, two stripes, one on one side, one on the other, for, for each Jeep? I'm very curious. I actually i am genuinely con concerned that if they're saving 100 bucks, maybe, I don't know, how much does it cost to put two stripes on a vehicle times however many sets, how many, however many vehicles you're actually making? So we're keeping up with the three and a half inch uh, scale for everyone. Now I did a, you know, buy online, pick a bit store at Target. This is the nice box, right? So we're going to keep this one not open. I'm not going to open this one, right? It was in a, it was in its own bag. I'm all set. But for some reason, the second one I ordered, they put a sticker right on the box. And didn't have a bag and i'm like okay my name's on it and you know hold of when the order was placed like why why are you putting a sticker on merchandise itself that is just it's so weird so weird so we're gonna open this one because clearly i'm not fighting with the glue on this and that box is fine and there's no like immediate damage or anything on either box. We got some nice box art on the back. What's really nice about the Legacy Collection now is that we have the back print is for the scene of the film, right? So we're on the little rockscape and like where Demorphodon, you know, eats him. Does it even say, De oh, Dilophosaurus, Demorphodon. I'm losing my mind. It does say Dilophosaurus right on the back. Uh, yeah, so what's also neat about the, the Legacy Collection, we've had, you know, um different legacy collection things previously and we are getting in august the raptor not raptor the rex and jeep and uh timmy with his goggles set which is pretty cool i hate pre-orders i hate them right because i hate seeing a pending charge on your account for three months and the jurassic world legacy collection t-rex timmy escape whatever the hell it's called um just went live as a Target exclusive May 19th. So yesterday, I'm recording this on the 20th, as a pre-order. And you can still pre-order it, but I genuinely don't want to pre-order it. And it's weird, right? I'm a collector. I buy two of each, right? One to keep, one to save. And like, it's strange that I don't want to do the pre-order, but I hate seeing pending charges on my account, let alone a pending charge for three months from now, June, July, August. No, I can't. I can't. So... We are going to open this and hope that everything turns how it's supposed to. I don't think, I don't think the Dilophosaurus like does anything. Oh, on the back it says it shoots, shoots out its venom. I see this stick toy. Where the hell's the venom toy? There's the dock sign. All right, let's, let's see. Let us see. Let's use our knives appropriately. See, what's great about Mattel, obviously, is that, you know, they know how to package it and know how to cater to the fans. But it's still concerning that, uh, you know, we, we don't have a second stripe on this. Because what does that mean for future legacy sets? You know, are we going to get a Lex figure? But like, let's say her shirt is not pinkish, purpley and dirty. I don't know. I'm, I'm making stuff up. How does this come out? Let us see. Did I forget some tape somewhere? That is attached there. Okay. Is it attached up here? It is not. So then where is the actual attachment? Ah. Oh, it's glued. Interesting. Very interesting. So I have to put my hand through. 
Man, this is like glue glued. All right, we're ripping. Rip. We'll get the uh, we'll get the Jeep first. We have those twisty things that they do sometimes, right, with the dinosaurs. You have your twisty piece that, like, you know, make sure that the item is secure in. Very convenient. Recycle these. Okay. Seems like it's moving, right? What are these things? Oh, the mirrors? So, this brings another question, right? Pretending that my sticker from Target is not on this, what do we see here? We see a blister pack of the um, Jeep's mirrors, right, on the background. But, what if I actually wanted the background to use in pictures, play, if I had a four-year-old who wanted to use the background for play? When I take these mirrors out, the background's gonna be destroyed because you're gonna have this giant hole in it. Like, why do that, you know? Let's get the knife back out. Let's hope this works accordingly. So we learned to go gentle with the knife so that way things don't shoot across the room. All right, this is my point, right? If I wanted to play with the background, I can't because there's a giant gaping hole now where the product is supposed to be. All right, let me get this out. <laughs> okay. A lot of issues with this set for some reason. I don't understand why. Okay, Jeep looks good. Oh, I see the, the top comes off. What do we have down here? 2020 Mattel Amblin. And then it says 2021 FCA US. That's interesting. I've never seen two different years on a toy before. I wonder what that's for. Well, works. We got details on the bottom. This comes off. You can put an entry right there. It's pretty nice. It's nice. Oh, gear shift. All right. All right. I like it. I like that the, this is hard plastic, but it looks like soft plastic as a Jeep back would actually have. Okay. So those go in there. Let me get my mirrors in correctly. You go there and you go there. Obviously a four-year-old is not going to care that there's not a red stripe, but those of us in our thirties, care that there's not a red stripe i care it's still pretty but i but i still care 12 very nice all right so we have the jeep now our figures now how do we do this without me fleeing them across the room let's see let's see gently gently okay man that's that's frustrating how do i I am so nervous right now. Okay, all right. This should work. Wow, I actually stabbed it. Interesting. All right, Dilophosaurus, just like our other Dilophosaurus eye, Dilophosauri that we've had in the past. I have the, the water shooting one, the purple one, where you press his belly and like her belly and like the water shoots out. I think that's the coolest. Oh, there's the venom. Okay, I see. Oh, and there's the stick. Because Dennis has a stick. Gently. Gently. I'm so nervous. Okay. I got the venom. I got the stick. Man, these parts are small. Small. Look at him. Little bastard that he is. He is the reason the park failed. Ta-da! <laughs> and then we have our beautiful... Dilophosaurus who spits on him and then eats his face. <sighs> All right, so let's get the venom in her. All right, and let's get the stick in his hand. See the stick? See the stick? Fetch, fetch, stupid. All right, he's got some nice articulation. I like it. Can his knees bend without breaking? Please don't break. Please don't break. Okay. All right. We're good. His knees turn, right? Oh, his waist turns. Okay. I like that his jacket, like, kind of flips open. So that's pretty nice, right? 
It's a pretty nice figure. And the Basim one, I didn't see the San Diego Comic Con one. And I knew it was eventually going to go in a set. And then now we got Timmy coming in a set. So obviously we're going to get Lex in a set at some point. Uh, we just need her. Need her soon. I want more JP2 set, legacy sets as well. And I really want more JP3 sets. That would be nice. Why is the Dilophosaurus legs not really moving? I got to loosen these joints a bit. So we have our very nice figures in the uh, Dennis Nedry getaway pack, right? And we have our Jeep as well. One striped Jeep, all figures to scale, 3.5 inch scale. I like it. Minus the stripe, I really like it. It's got nice details, playability. And that's the little reviews you see for playability. Oh, my grandson loved it. Oh, my son loves it. Oh, my daughter loves this. Like playability. So these are, these are good with playability. And I've seen a lot of a lot of toy photographers like take really nice pics of it, um, of this set. Really, really nice. So, 2020 and 2021, according to the Jeep, Dennis Nedry getaway pack. Pretty awesome. I really, I honestly, I wanted a uh, e-stock spinning sign. That would have been really cool. It's on the print, but I, I destroyed the print, as you saw. Can't really do anything about that now. But uh, yes, thus concludes our unboxing. Hopefully in August we will talk about the T-Rex Legacy Timmy Pack, whatever the hell it's called that I don't remember. And thus concludes our conversation. Hoochamahalo. <laughs>